Setbacks have been mounting in the crisis over Japan's nuclear power station. Nearby seawater has been testing at its highest radiation levels yet, and the president of the plant operator was hospitalized, suffering from hypertension. The chairman of Tokyo Electric Power Company made the announcement about Masataka Shimizu's health. Sunehisa Katsumata said Shimizu checked into a hospital Tuesday night and he'd be acting as a stand-in for him. Katsumata apologized for the apparent leadership vacuum at TEPCO, with the president not having been seen for more than two weeks. He also offered an apology for the effects of the catastrophic accident spreading to food, water and the atmosphere and warned it would take a long time and huge cost to bring the situation under control. The nuclear plant troubles, along with the massive earthquake and tsunami that triggered them, have created Japan's worst crisis since World War II. Thousands have died and hundreds of thousands lost their homes. Japan's imperial couple visited some of them at an evacuation shelter in Tokyo. Many of those staying at the facility come from Fukushima Prefecture, where the crippled nuclear plant and the danger zone around it are located. It was the first time Emperor Akihito had met face-to-face with evacuees since disaster struck back on March 11th. Several said later they were grateful for the concern expressed by Japan's head of state. But that still doesn't bring the prospects of life with a semblance of privacy, not dependent on meal coupons, returning to normal anytime soon. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.